I'm so sorry I worried you all. I bet Steph wishes she could reword that, but it's pretty funny. It was special for me too, Steph. Enjoy that ice cream. Maybe I should start charging for my services. Okay, I gotta admit, this is a pretty great feeling. Steph did a really great job putting all that together. Just dropped a block of alabaster on purpose because I wouldn't stop digging. Hey, Steph. Alex, wait. Before you say anything, I have to get this out. Okay. What you did at the council meeting, it was the bravest thing I've ever seen. And it made me want to be brave too. So, here it goes. I want to be with you. I don't give a shit about playing music or seeing the world. I mean, I do, but only if it's with you. And if you'd rather stay here instead, then... <sighs> Fuck it. <laughs> I want to stay here, too. I've never had anyone barge in to tell me that they wanted to be with me before. Yeah? How'd it feel? You've, uh, given me a lot to think about. Well, good. That was the idea. You know where to find me. Good luck, Chen. Thanks, Steph. All right, just tell me. What? My future. What to do? 
The night of the spring fest, Steph made a strong push for leaving with her. Playing on the road, the excitement of the unknown. Of course, that was before all the shit went down. <laughs> Come on, you're the know-it-all. So tell me. Actually, I do know what you should do. You should stay in Haven. <laughs> you really think so? Of course. You finally have a home, a job, and despite what happened at the vote, people that actually care about you. Why would you give that up? That's true. <sighs> then again, maybe leaving would be better. What? You're young, you suddenly have a little money, friends. And don't you think it's time to give this music thing a real shot? No, you should definitely leave. Oh, fuck off. <laughs> Stop it, Gabe. I don't need the mysterious spirit bullshit right now. I just need... I just need my big brother. Sorry. I know. But here's something. It's three hours from now. A bus pulls away. You're not on it. And neither is Steph. Life goes on. You get a job working with Steph at the record store. All those years of being a music snob finally pay off. And little by little, time does its thing. The apartment starts to feel less like a museum and more like a home. Thoughts of Jed, of Typhon, and even of me begin to fade into the background. is your stage. You perform every week to a small but adoring group of fans. 
Maybe while you play, you wonder what could have been. Performing for more people in more cities, sharing your music with the world. Or maybe you never think about that much at all. You don't know exactly when it happens, but one day you look around and find that you have transformed this place just as much as it has transformed you. And the most extraordinary thing of all is just how normal it feels. You don't question it. You don't doubt it. I wonder what might have been. It's your life. The life you fought so hard to have. And for the first time in a long time, you just live. Thank you. Don't mention it. You really think I'll transform Haven? Of course, you already have. With your gift, your music, just by being you. But Alex, that doesn't mean you have to stay. You have the potential to do that anywhere you go. Do what exactly? Become an actual musician? Live in a van? Travel between dingy bars, hawking your SoundCloud, <laughs> pouring your soul to strangers? Sounds pretty great if you ask me. The truth is, there's no telling what that version of your future might be. The only promise is the adventure. So? What do you think? I know what I want.
a long time. I would sit alone and think that I'm better off all by myself, even if I sink. But you found me, and you helped me see the light, the dim fluorescent flicker in a dark, defeated night. I've had my fair share of losing, and I've hung on by a thread within me. For a long time, I kept my heart closed. Thought it easier to handle it if I was on my own. But you taught me some things are worth the risk. Nothing comes too easily when joy is dangerous.